what's going on guys your boy terabyte reacts here and today we are going to start a new series um you guys have been bugging me about chernobyl for a long long time ever since it ended or even when it was going on people was asking me are you going to react to chernobyl it's only five episodes um it's on hbo um so i decided to check it out because i had some extra time on my hands was not necessarily extra time it's more of like i made time to actually do some new reactions on the channel there's more to come but only if the stuff is like really short then i will just binge watch it record it and do it if it's if you're going to suggest something you're going to be saying oh you should have done this instead of that or whatever the situation is um guys the only way I do stuff like this, like surprise reactions and stuff like that, the only time I will do that is if it's a short series. There's only five episodes, right? I think it's um, one hour per episode. Um, obviously, I'm not going to watch this all at once. But, <laughs> but um, over time, I usually just do it over time and then just release it all at once. Okay, so hopefully... Hopefully, I can get through at least three episodes today. Um, so, you guys have been awesome. You guys have been awesome. So, I think that I should knock this out, get it over with, and upload them as I see fit. Okay? So, as we go along, I'm going to be doing this episodically, of course, to put up on YouTube. I'm going to have to edit these videos because HBO series... So I should be able to upload it to YouTube, of course, not going to give you much of the footage here, but of course, I'm going to try to give you at least two to three parts of it. Um, so about 30 minutes of the episode should be on YouTube. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys for the review of episode one. Let's go watch this show. Chernobyl. Very good show so far. Let's talk about the technical aspects. I love the setting. I love the the setting. Very well filmed, to be honest. I mean, the 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 set um that they're on, it's they've done a pretty good job of setting the atmosphere of the of the show and just makes you kind of think that this is actually at that time you know what i'm saying they did a pretty good job of capturing that um that nostalgic feeling of um to bring you into you know the world of you know what it was like back then you know the the dressing the you know what i'm saying like this is happening in russia so um, the grittiness of it is, is what kind of surprised me how, how gritty it is. Um, you know, but just the, and, and, and then the acting is, is very, the acting is really, good. <laughs> the acting is really good. You know, it has one of my favorite, the guy that died at the beginning of the episode who, who um, hanged himself like that guy is one of my favorite actors. Like I have a lot of favorite actors um that I like to see in whether it be TV shows, movies, I like to see them because they always deliver. They're never off when they when they're acting. They, they it's like, you know, it's a certain level of perfection that they carry, a certain level of performance that you expect from them when you see them on screen. So he's a really good actor. I like him. Um but let's talk about the story aspect of this. Um, we all know that Chernobyl is a um, this is this um, this is based on real events. This did happen. This Chernobyl event. This um, this plant that blew up nuclear plant that blew up. Um, well, it's not necessarily a nuclear explosion, but the core blew up, and this place contaminated a whole freaking town till I think it's today i think it's safe um to go there 
but it's still like I, I I think somebody was saying that it's safe for people to live there again. I'm not I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure about what it's like today but i have heard you know whisperings or whatever and i think somebody on this channel has said one time that it's safe for people to live there again um today so i'm not sure not 100 percent sure on that statement but yeah but this was a real event and the thing about it is this like i didn't know if if what is happening right now in this first episode is the truth of how things went down like after the fact it's absolutely ridiculous like i'm watching this thing and, I, and i'm like are you seriously telling me right now that these people i mean all this time when when dudes kept coming out and saying to the to, to the scientists the lead the lead um whatever lead nuclear engineer whatever you want to call him right they keep saying to him dude there's no core the core is gone <laughs> this dude kept saying just throw water on it man <laughs> just throw some water on it you know what i'm saying keep throwing water on it man i don't believe you you know what i'm saying so because of course they want to keep it cool um because they've never heard of a of a core a nuclear uh, um a core blowing up you know what i'm saying or exploding you know what i'm saying but the graphite right the graphite is the proof that the core has been shattered right whether it be blew up shattered exploded whatever you want to put it the thing is it came apart so it's not there anymore and when this happens is a whole bunch of exposure to radiation everybody there is being exposed everybody that came to, even in that town right now is exposed to radiation and the levels are ridiculous you know what i'm saying this stuff is radiation is something that eats you from the inside out you're not going to see visible signs on your skin until it reaches that level in your body where it has to come out it's like radiation is kind of like if i could find a description of it, it's kind of like a parasite when it affects you you know what i'm saying the levels if the levels are the level of radiation because i know they use radiation to treat cancer right but it's very minimal we have radiation in our in our cell phones right and stuff like that that's why they tell you don't have your phone phone plugged in and have it like you know what I'm saying? On your freaking ear and stuff like that. Like they stuff like that you're not supposed to do. You're not supposed to have your phone plugged in and be using it on your on your arm, on your ear. Don't have it to your ear. You put it on speakerphone. Anytime I have my phone plugged in and somebody calls me, it's never going to my ear. You understand? Because I do believe that radiation can affect your brain through devices. I do believe that. Um um, no matter how minimal it is, stuff builds up. I know I, may, I might be a little bit too paranoid about it. You know what I'm saying? But the risk is not super high for you to get cancer from something like that. But it is a risk. So why take the risk? You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's just for, for, for me, I just don't do that. But radiation is kind of like a parasite. Like when it has nothing else to feed on, it will start coming through your skin. That's what you see in this where you see that they get affected by it the radiation is not is not affecting them outwardly you get what i'm saying eventually you see them start bleeding through the nose through the eyes and stuff like that it means probably your organs are going to you know shut down before you even see any visible signs on your on your, on your skin you know what i'm saying start eating through your skin right so radiation is not anything to play around with man and these people all these people that are there all the families came out to go see what the firemen are doing and they don't even know that they're in danger and overall their decision is to not tell the people anything so they can leave so they they basically ordered them to lock the town down and they will figure it out everybody's probably going to die by the end of this <laughs> so 
I don't know what was the results of Chernobyl. I just know of Chernobyl. As I said, guys, and I've said this in multiple other um, reactions that I've done, there's certain things that I know of. I just don't know the history of it, like to the T. You get what I'm saying? Like I've never been interested to know about certain. I'm gonna know about certain things, like stuff that I've learned, history that I've learned in school, and never saw it as super important to know because I was like, this in in some ways it affects you, but in in most ways it doesn't affect you. So I've always I was never a history buff. As I said, I know things. I know of things. There's certain history that I really do know, but I will tell you, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know everything because I don't. I'm not one of those people, man. If I don't know about something, I'm going to tell you point blank. I don't know about it. Okay. So my beard is not being, it is not behaving well right now. So, <laughs> so I know probably you're going to be, you're going to be wondering why is it that in the reaction, my, <laughs> My head, in the reaction, my head is not cut. My hair is not cut in the reaction, but um, but in my review, my hair is cut. My hair is going to look totally different. So if you watch this review through, you will know why, which is I did I did this review way after I recorded, that ep re recorded the episode. I completely forgot to do the review because I'm trying to do all five episodes and then release them all at once they're not going to be in one reaction video i'm just going to release them all at once like episode one episode two episode three four and then five they're all going to be on youtube but they're not going to be in one reaction they're all going to get separate um how many parts i'm uploading whatever the situation is whenever i do that so um, so this is kind of like, as I said, this is a surprise because you guys don't know that I'm doing this. I'm not announcing it on YouTube or anything. You guys have just been telling me, Hey, check out Chernobyl. It's only five episodes. And now I'm doing that. So, um, pretty dope start as in, as in how it is filmed, everything about that, the, 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 the sound, the, the, um, it really, um, gives you the atmosphere of understanding the dire situation of this and you can see it by them just being exposed and people seeing the effects of it because now even the freaking scientist the lead scientist that didn't want to believe that this is happening he's freaking sick now um so we'll see what happened going forward what um the guy that died in the first of course we all know that that the result of him knowing what happened and he just couldn't take it anymore and he killed himself but he did record something but then again now we're seeing his role in this as that's how they ended the episode of them recruiting him he wanted to tell the people and they tell him oh no you know what i'm saying because he's like i don't know if he's like a research scientist. i don't remember exactly because as i said i'm doing this way after i watched the episode so um but I'm going to be reacting to the other four, so don't worry about it. I'll remember eventually what the names are. Um, so, yeah, that's it for the review. Great episode, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, my reaction was giving me a bit of a problem, too, um, as in, you know, the video and stuff like that. It kept lagging and, and stuff like that, so I had to switch players and all of this other stuff, like, you know, so thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts, and I will see you guys for episode two. Peace!